Hi guys, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing great. So guys, today on the podcast, what if one of these lights that we are so depending on will break? You know, all of the warning lights that we have all, everywhere in the cockpit. What if they break? How do we actually know that the system is working? And is there any way that we can fix the lights uh, here in the cockpit while we're flying? Stay tuned. Right guys, yeah, so if you look around here, you can see that the cockpit is absolutely full of warning lights, okay? What you're seeing now is the aircraft in light test mode. That means that all of the lights are on and we do that every time in the morning to make sure that all of the bulbs are working properly. Now, what if one of these bulbs or even two of these bulbs would stop working? Well, the thing is that every one of these lights have two bulbs involved in them, okay? If both of those bulbs would actually disappear, would um, stop working, then there's no way for us to know if that system has a fault or not, because that's the light that will, um, that will illuminate and tell us that there's something wrong. Now, we would get a master caution warning, which is the one over here, okay? But it would be very hard to see which one it is, because all of the lights would be out. So actually, this is one of the few maintenance actions that a pilot can actually do. And this is providing that your company has been approved by the licensing authorities to actually do this check, okay? But we can change a light bulb. But for to change a light bulb, it means that there needs to be light bulbs available. So follow me up here. You can see up here, we have something called spare bulbs. take that down you see that there's a veritable little menu of light bulbs that we can actually take out and replace so how do we do that then well if we have a look up here you can see that this bulb is actually missing so this bulb is faulty this means that we need to remove it like this and you can see that there are two bulbs inside of it that. So the next thing we do is that we need to take a spare bulb out. It's this one. And we need to put it back in. Make sure that it's facing the, the correct orientation, otherwise it will say no instead of on. We click it back in and as you can see they're now working and that my friends is how we change light bulbs i bet you didn't know that 